Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the widget from the Hue app. Uh, the Philips Hue app is basically a control panel or control app that controls the lights Visa remote through your phone. Um, and the app also has a widget that goes along with it that you can set up different things. Uh, well, not things, but uh, different profiles essentially to an instant tap and those lights will act on that command whatever the setting is set to so to get started um you already see i have one here so i'm just gonna be like boop remove it and for android at least i'm not sure how iphone works you hold it down on your screen and then go to widgets and then from widgets you want to scroll over a little bit to where it says hue large I'm gonna hold that down and drag it onto your screen and place it on it. Now we'll start uh, automatically taking you to these widget setup. From there you wanna go to create a widget and you can name this widget. So I'm just gonna name it office. All right, and I'm gonna give it an icon for the first profile pick and I'm gonna have it as the chair. Uh, then you go to where and then you're gonna select what room you want. Or you can select home and that will turn all your lights on or to this command essentially. So, oh, I done goofed. So you hit that. Bright. So here's all your different options. You go to off, last on state, bright, dimmed, or night light. Um, dim basically lowers the lights. Night lights basically like they're barely on. Another form of dim, bright is when they're fully on, off is obviously when they're off, and last day is basically the last time they were on, what they were set to, if that makes sense. And then you also have your scenes that you already, um, well in my case, I already have set up. Um, you can set that up through the app itself. If you guys want a review or a tutorial on that app itself, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but anyways, uh, these are also light recipes. I'm not sure really what these do. Um, these might be different patterns for all I know that the, that the RGB lights interact with. I have yet to figure it out. But if you guys know, let me know down in the comments because I'm kind of curious myself. But for this case, I'm going to do a streaming one. Um... I think that uh, that right. Quick check mark. Okay, so the name of the widget is called stream, not the widget itself. My bad. So you go to create another one. So you can create a few of these. I'm gonna go do one that's off icon. Um, I'm just gonna put it as the moon because I'm a nerd. Studio. And for this one, it's going to be off, and that's going to turn all the lights off in the office. Um, and then I'm going to do a dim one too. And then I'll show you guys how they interact with the widget. Um, I'll just do that one, I guess, because I'm really not that picky about it. Boom. And we're going to do dimmed and the check mark. Okay, so we got three set up. You can go to the max of four. I'm just gonna do three because I'm a nerd okay so the thing to keep in mind is that the app, the widgets gonna interact with everything that's in that group so in this case I have my RGB lights that are on my desk behind me and the ceiling lights all in one group if you were to take the RGB lights out and put them in its own group then you would have to make a separate widget for that and the, that widget would interact with only those lights just to keep in mind. So it interacts with every light in that group. So for, I'm just gonna go through all three of them. You guys can see that basically what it does. You basically just go to where the widget is on the app and tap on the icon. And you'll see it start to load and then it does it. So like I said, the reason these didn't turn off because it's because that they're in the same group. So the RGB lights just changed different color. So we can get it off. It turns all the lights off as you can see. And then we can go dim and it will actually change the color of the RGB lights to regular like tungsten colored and it will dim them. So we're just going to go back to BAM. 
And that's basically that's basically the rundown on how to set the widget up for the hue. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Like the video if this video helped you. Uh, this lets me know that this kind of content is good in helping you guys and you guys want more of this type of content. Um, and yeah guys, I'll see you guys next Tutorial Tuesday. Thank you for watching.